morning everyone and happy Friday. I am in such a great mood today. I've got a really, really exciting day planned that I am going to be taking you guys along with me. It's not the best weather today but I feel like we can still make the most of it. We can still have the loveliest day. I've actually just finished off getting ready and I had a knock at my door from the postman with a very exciting parcel. So we have just had a new delivery arrive from Laura Mercier from their new Rose Glow collection, which I'm so, so excited about. So I thought we could just unbox it. I literally just started unpacking it and I thought, you know what, let's do it on camera and then we could maybe try and see if we can apply it over the makeup just to give it a bit of a test. Oh, this is hard to open. That really was a three hours later moment. Um, so these are part of the caviar sticks, which let's be honest, is a very, very iconic product from Laura Mercier. And I think they've got some new um new shades. So let's open these up. Okay, so we've got three shades here, all in this stunning, stunning rose gold packaging. Look at that. As you can see, they're all very like kind of similar shades, but obviously they're all very different. Um, so we have got Bed of Roses, which I believe is this one. So this one is Bed of Roses. This is a bit more of like a, like a mauvey pink. This looks like the darkest out of the three. And then we have Kiss from a Rose. I have a feeling Rose is going to be a running theme, which is a much like nudia pink, which looks really, really lovely. And then the last one, which is a bit more of a pinky pink, is Strike a Rose, which I really really like i think that's such a lovely color i think i'm gonna use should we swatch them all on the back of my hand let's swatch them all so this is striker rose oh wow that's gorgeous look at that absolutely stunning so that's strike a rose and then kiss from a rose oh i love that that's actually a lot lighter than i was expecting can you see that can we see that that is absolutely gorgeous. That is way lighter than I was expecting it to be. And the last one is Bed of Roses. That's really... I think the one that surprises me, actually, is the first one, the Kiss from a Rose. That's a bit darker than I was expecting it to be. Um, so that top one is Bed of Roses. I think, actually, this middle one is my favourite. That is very me. So I think I might just apply it, apply it over the top of my makeup. I'm not having a great skin at the moment. Um, we've... I had a bit of a breakout here so I'm kind of like does anyone else do this where they overcompensate a little bit and do like really hella good makeup to make up for it um so lipstick I'm wearing is the Givenchy this one which is in the shade beige caramel and I absolutely love it it's a really really lovely um lip color and then I've done like a bit more of like an over over egged liner <laughs> like I've gone like very sharp with my eyeliner so I'm just going to I think use my finger to apply this that is absolutely beautiful that is so gorgeous just like a really nice subtle shimmer on my eyes you guys know i don't like anything too heavy because i do have quite sensitive eyes so i find like really heavy products aren't great for me but that is absolutely gorgeous and i think the other colors would be really nice if you want to go for something that's really like a bam like of color i think that's absolutely beautiful so those are the three colors there we've got striker rose kiss from a rose and bed of roses so i will link all three of those down below if you did want to shop them i definitely think if you're much more like subtle like i am you're going to love striker rose if you want something a little bit more like bam a little bit of color or you're a bit darker skin toned i think the other two would be really lovely on you so yeah absolutely love that so so happy i always love when like if you're not having a great skin day or you're not like enjoying a certain part of your makeup but just really going like all out on another part and just making yourself feel amazing so even though my skin is not loving life right now i still feel amazing because i've gone like for a really really nice glowy makeup look we've gone very glowy a little bit more like rosy pinky um and i'm kind of loving it so yeah so plan of action for today today i've got a really really exciting in person event i actually think this might be my first in person event since pre-covid 
I think it actually is as well. So today we've got an event with Pandora. It's called Pandora in the Park, which I am so, so looking forward to. Do you know what's actually really funny is that the last event I went to before COVID hit was a Pandora event. It was one with Anne-Marie and it was a Valentine's event, I believe. Um, and it was actually the first event I took Alex to and he was so cute. Um, and it was a really, really fun night. Um, and yeah, that was like... February just before COVID hit and I do remember speaking the, to the PRs and then being like oh we don't know if it's going to go ahead and we were all so happy that it happened and it went ahead and I think maybe two weeks later we went into lockdown um and I have not been to an in-person event since which just blows my mind so the last event I went to was with Pandora and now the first event I went I'm going to is going to be with Pandora how adorable is that so it's Pandora in the park which should be a really really fun day there's going to be music there's going to be food apparently there's going to be like I think they said like face painting or like um nail polish I can't remember lots of things going on and I'm actually bringing Charlotte along with me which will be so nice we're going to go and meet for lunch um beforehand so that we can have a little bit of catch up because it's been a week or so since I last saw her um and then we can head to the event together which will be really really nice and I'm just so excited to see the Pandora girls because it's been so so long since I last saw them. You guys know what a fan I am of Pandora. I mean, literally like from the jewelry that I wear is just testament to how much I love Pandora jewelry. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So that's not until a bit later, but I've actually just had a new delivery that I wanted to unbox and go through with you because I'm really, really excited about these pieces. And I think I might wear one to the event later. But before I do, just to show you today's little outfit of the day. Unfortunately, it's not the best weather. I'm hoping it's going to be one of those where it clears up later in the day because it's start off a bit cloudy this morning which is a bit of a shame um i'm wearing one of my favorite outfits for when it's a little bit cloudy but still quite warm um this is a full karen millen fit so this is the karen millen they're both petite the karen millen off shoulder bardo top i think they're both from the lydia millen collection i believe um so this is the off shoulder bardo top which i absolutely love you can tell how much i've worn this because it's a slightly different colour to this now. So I think I need to maybe put some whitening strips in my next whitewash because I've just noticed it's starting to grey a little bit just from how much I've worn this because I love this top. It's so flattering, it's so comfortable, so easy to wear. I've been wearing it so, so much throughout summer. And then these are the trousers. I did actually end up getting these altered um, because they were far too long on me even with heels on um, and I just wanted to be able to wear them comfortably with flats I do have some other like white wide leg trousers that I can wear with heels so I thought you know what? I want these to be my flats oh lighting change um, my flats trousers so I got them altered and I'm so happy I did because they fit so so nicely they're really just like comfortable like way loose but so perfect on days like today when it's not too sunny so yeah that's today's outfit of the day now I shall show you what I've been picking up so as I said, we've had a new little order arrive from Revolve. I realised I picked up this box and it's not actually like a branded box or anything. I don't understand why Revolve don't do that. I feel like they could do such cute little pretty packaging. Um, but we've had a new little delivery arrive from Revolve. So I thought I would show you what I've picked up because there's some like really cool edgy outfits in this. And I feel like if I'm ever going to wear a cool edgy outfit, it has to be to a festival. Like, let's be honest. I am so not a festival Goa, actually, fun fact, the <laughs> one and only, like, overnight festival I've ever been to, I went to when I was 17, and it was a three or four, I think it was a four-day thing, and on the third day, I rang my mum and said, can you pick me up, because I can't do another night of this, I'm not a camper, like, at all, and it was really funny, because everyone said that that last night was, like, the best night that they had there, um, but I just couldn't do another night in that tent, I was like, nah can't do it I'm not a camper so any festivals I've done since then have always been like day festivals like Hyde Park, the Victorious, um what else have I done? Like a few other day ones um I just I'm the kind of person that like I don't like rough housing I don't like having to like not be able to shower for four days or you know walk 10 minutes just to go and we like in the middle of the night oh I don't like it so any festivals that I go to I'll happily go as long as number one it's either a daytime thing or number two you've booked me a very nice hotel um but i'm really excited about today because today's not really like you know it's not like a proper big festival it's more something like a long you know much more like my vibe like it's a lot smaller a bit more intense like it should just be really really fun so 
the pieces that I've picked up, I can't wait to show you. I literally almost don't know where to start. Right, this first item is a really gorgeous dress from Tula Rosa. And I love Tula Rosa as a brand. Like, they are such a gorgeous brand. Like, very me. Um, and I really, really love their pieces. So I have a few items from them already. And I'm so excited. So excited about this dress. Now, I kind of wish I had this earlier. Because I feel like this would have been such a perfect dress for, like summertime like when the weather was really really hot but it's this gorgeous like white kaftan dress now of course i will be doing these as try-ons so that you can see what these look like i always feel like especially with brands like revolve try-ons are so important because let's be honest their models are this thin and i honestly reckon they probably i'd come up to like their waist like they are so tall um so the items don't always look quite the same on us but i feel like there are still a lot of items that can look really, really cute on, like, our kind of figure. So it's this really cute design. It's, like, got this kind of bardo off the shoulder top, but you can wear it like this if you wanted to, or you could wear a bardo. It's not stretchy, but it's got the, um, this, like, tie waist, so you can, not waist, tie detail. So you can pull it as, like, tight or as loose as you need it to. It's long sleeve, which I really, really like. I love long sleeve white dresses i just find them really flattering like i like being able to have things that have covered my arms that are still loose and flowy um now it is kind of like mid axy so we're gonna have to see what it's like lengthwise on me but this could be quite a cute option for the festival just something very lightweight very like summer appropriate i really really do hope that the weather picks up a little bit because i feel like everyone's going to be wanting to wear their cute little summer outfits for this um and currently it is gray skies but i'm hoping that this is going to look super super cute i actually love this dress oh my word now it's a little bit long on me but i feel like with just a little pair of heels i could easily get away with this because it only just touches the floor like i have pulled the waist up a little bit if i was to pull this down i mean number one it wouldn't be as flattering number two obviously it would definitely definitely be a bit long so i quite like the fact that you can kind of adjust it um to how it suits you but my favorite thing about it is look at these leg slits yes i love a leg slit i mean that is a lot of leg slit um but they are so so cute the way that it just like floats and the way that you kind of like walk and it moves is just absolutely gorgeous so i feel like this could be a contender for today i really like it. i do seriously wish that i had this before for like the start of summer but maybe this is a really really great dress just to keep in storage maybe take out of storage for like next year if i manage to get away on holiday i think this would be such a gorgeous holiday dress what do you guys think of this i absolutely adore it and i think with the right accessories it could look so so super cool super like festival vibes i kind of love it Next up is this adorable little top. Now this probably isn't going to be one for the festival, but I feel like this is such a great item for like transitioning. If you watch my latest Nasty Girl haul, you would have seen quite a few items that I talk about, like little tops and how versatile they are at transitioning into like autumn winter because obviously in summer you can wear them with like shorts or little skirts and then when the weather starts to change you can wear them with linen trousers or even jeans and like a blazer and I just love this top now I feel like the way I'm going to wear this it's with one of my Gilly Hicks bralettes underneath if you missed that video you should definitely check it out if you want some really gorgeous like summer basic items and items that can be styled up with lots of different things and I really really love those bralettes in there because I've already gotten so much wear out of them and I think that is a great way to wear this top maybe with just like a straight leg pair of jeans and a little bralette underneath it so super cute it's difficult to show you how it looks holding up but hopefully you'll be able to see in the cutaway just how adorable this is this top i've literally just chucked on with my linen trousers which i probably wouldn't style up this way because it's very like and these are my hips <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but I think with a pair of like straight leg jeans, this would be such a cute outfit. I've got the like, tags hanging out. Please ignore. Um, but I just love how it looks. So as I said, what I've done is just start it up with the Gilly Hicks bralette. So you just get that little bit of like lace showing through underneath because it's not like fully closed. Um, like there are gaps here. So if I didn't have the lace bralette underneath, you would be able to see like a lot um but i just think it looks so so cute with the bralette i love the way that it fits like the way that it cinches in at your waist you can pull it in even further because it's just a tie so you can pull it in as much as you want or you can have it as loose as you want but i just think it's such a cute little top definitely the kind of top that can take you throughout the rest of summer into autumn winter and you can style up so many different ways i'm so 
so obsessed with this it is just adorable next up i picked up this adorable little pair of flippy white shorts now that's something i realized i was missing from my wardrobe and i love my pink river island shorts and i have been looking out for the white ones to come back in stock for so long because i really really love the like style of them i love the fit i've actually worn them so so much the white ones have just not come back in stock like i think they've discontinued them so it's really sad but when i saw these on revolve i thought Do you know what that's a really really nice alternative like they're actually a bit more lightweight which i really like about them and i think these are the kind of thing that again as much as they look like a very summer item you can definitely style them up a bit more for like the transitional period like for now i'd probably wear them with just a little top and sandals but then when the weather starts to change you could change the top for like maybe like a roll neck or a loose cardigan and change up sandals for trainers or maybe like chunky boots and i think that would look so so cool so i thought these were really really cute the kind of thing that i will bring out of my wardrobe every single summer and i'll be able to get so much wear out of so i'm really happy i picked those up Okay, so I've just chucked on the little flippy style shorts with the top that I was wearing and I'm obsessed. I probably wouldn't wear them with this top because they are slightly different colours. That is one thing I've definitely struggled with this year, getting my whites to match. I feel like there are so many different whites out there and they're always like slightly different. Um, but I love these shorts. They are so, so cute. I kind of wish they had a bit more of a detail here, like a belt or like buttons just to really cinch that in but i do think they are very very flattering the way that they flip out is so gorgeous on shorter legs like i think it makes you look so much taller than you actually are i absolutely love them they're really really comfortable as well i picked these up in a medium i wasn't sure whether to go for a large um but i'm glad i sticked to a medium because they do fit really really nicely actually i think a large would have been a bit too loose here um but i just think they are so so adorable i think i'm gonna get a little bit of wear out of them over the next few weeks but i definitely think they're the kind of item that i can put in my wardrobe and put into storage and bring out next summer and i can get so much wear out of them next summer okay now next we have a co-ord so i'll show you each item separately and then we can style them up together for the cutaway now this top i am obsessed this is actually really similar to the zara white halter neck top that i showed in my latest zara haul if you haven't watched that definitely go and check that out and it's absolutely gorgeous it's like very similar in kind of the fabric that it is but this is a beige color rather than the like white so i think it's a bit more appropriate for like transitioning into maybe the colder weather but i just thought this was so cute it's got this like tie back detail which i absolutely love with the gold like details on it so many details to this which i absolutely love it looks really really expensive and i know that revolve obviously is a little bit more pricey but i think this looks so much more expensive than it actually is now it's got a little bit of boning in it which i think is quite nice because it's going to hold it up really nicely i think bardo tops are just such a gorgeous trend item that i am loving at the moment as you can tell exhibit a but i just find them like really flattering really easy to wear and really really classy so i'm so excited about this top and then the skirt that comes with it oh my goodness i'm really really hoping that this is gonna look nice on because when i saw this online i was like yes this is probably the most boho style i could ever ever go for but i just loved it i absolutely loved it so it's this gorgeous gorgeous like mid axi boho style skirt i love it so so much it's got this really gorgeous like big thick waistband which i think is very flattering so it's really gonna like cinch you in highlight that like smaller waist compared to like the hips and it should flow really really nicely so this is definitely going to be an option for me for the festival today because i just think it's so so cute and if ever i'm gonna go for like a boho outfit it just has to be for a festival oh my word i am actually in love with this let's talk about the skirt first this is beautiful lengthwise it's actually so so nice on me it's got this kind of like um dip hem which i think is really cool so it's like shorter at the sides and then longer at the front and back which i think is really flattering i think it actually makes me look a little bit taller i know it's supposed to be more of like a midi definitely is a maxi on me but i'm not mad about it i think it looks really cool and then you can just kind of like stick out whatever shoes you're wearing underneath the top is gorgeous now one thing i am going to say is you need help getting into this like there is a lot to it there is so many ties and strings and you do need a little bit of help getting into it i managed to just about do it by myself i'm by myself today alex is at work so i managed to just about but i don't know if i've tied it like quite tight enough but what do we think of this as the festival outfit the only thing i worry about is is it warm enough but i do think it just looks so super cool like this is so not my normal style but i absolutely adore it i think the color is gorgeous <gasps> 
the skirt has pockets oh my word this is so so super cute so what do we think guys do you think this is a contender for festival today do you think this is like a very festival outfit is this the kind of thing you'd wear i love it i love it i love it so much it will all be linked down below of course i definitely recommend picking it up if it's still in stock and then the last item I picked up, I am so, so in love with. Look at this. This is very similar to the Zara dresses, to the misguided dress. I'm really, really loving this, like, ruched kind of detail at the moment. I find it very, very flattering. If you're like me and you've maybe got, like, a little bit of posh that you don't like or there's, like, some rolls or, you know, you just want to feel held in, this is a great way to feel really held in to be able to wear body cons while still feeling really confident because obviously the ruching like detracts from all of the things that you want it to detract from and I just thought this was such a gorgeous like evening dress for the end of summer I think this would look so cool with even maybe like chunky boots and a leather jacket I absolutely love it and I love how stretchy this is like one thing I will say is that misguided one it's not stretchy it's supposed to be but like I did wear it out and I I couldn't breathe, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I thought this is a perfect one for like meals, date nights, drinks with the girls. If you need a little bit of stretch, if you wanna have a little bit of food or even go for a little bit of a boogie, like this is gonna be so perfect for that. So I'm absolutely in love. So many gorgeous pieces for the end of summer. I love, 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 love everything in this haul. And we are ending on a high. I am so, so in love with this dress. And this isn't like my usual style. Obviously it's very like short, very like clubby. But actually I think this is a really, really nice like evening dress. Like I could definitely see myself wearing this to maybe like a friend's party um, or like I've got a friend's kind of like um, goodbye party who she's going to Europe for a couple of years. And I think it might be quite nice for that. Maybe with like a leather jacket thrown over the top and like chunky boots, I think would look really, really cool. I absolutely love love it love the ruche detail it's so so flattering like the way that it just sits over my tummy i find it a really really flattering look like i would never normally go for a bodycon dress like this especially a white bodycon dress but this is beautiful i absolutely adore it i think i could definitely see myself getting wear out of this okay just to show you today's outfit of choice so this is what i've decided i'm going to wear i'm wearing the revolve dress now i'm not gonna lie it is really high so what i've just done is i have um so the slit like it doesn't have a bit that it touches so like it will go all the way up and it's a little bit windy today so i have just grabbed a little safety pin and just pinned on each side you can just about see it there um so just to make sure that like nothing is on show because that would be the worst thing in the world um and also like walking through london obviously like my entire leg is going to be out so it's just to make sure that i don't flash my entire pants i have got a little like slip underneath as well um like a little slip top so you can kind of see it but i mean that doesn't really bother me i'd rather have that than you know have things on show so yeah i really really like this as an outfit i think it's so so cute and then i've just got my leather jacket that i've thrown over the top it's been a long time since i wore a leather jacket but i feel like nothing says festival more than a white dress and a leather jacket start up together um and then i also dug out my nasty girl boots it's been a long time since i wore boots as well um i'm gonna be wearing those today and they are so perfect because they're a bit chunkier so they just kind of like lift the dress off the floor um so they look really really cool start up together and obviously the black goes well with the leather jacket and then i'm wearing a hat i feel like a boater hat goes so so well i was debating between my boater hat and my fedora but i think the boater hat just tips over the edge it looks really really cool and then in terms of bags now normally it's a bit annoying i would love to wear my ysl that one i think that would look so cute but to be perfectly honest it's just not big enough like i need a lot of stuff so I'm going to be carrying my basket bag. I'm not going to lie, it's heavy already. This is going to absolutely ache my arm by the end of the day. But I just need a lot of stuff. Like I've got my vlogging camera in there. Um, I've got like other things that I just, I need to take with me. So this is the bag of choice. Um, and actually, to be fair, I'm not too mad about it because it kind of ties the hat in together. So we've got like the rattan of the hat and the bag. We've got the black of the jacket and the boots. And then we've got the white dress. So I think it goes really, really well together. Now, see, I absolutely love today's outfit. I'm feeling so boho chic. Like, this is so not my normal style, but I kind of love it. Like, this is festival Ellie. Like, this is as festival-y as we get. And I'm kind of here for it. I'm so happy that this all arrived just in time. Because this is this the cutest outfit. I'm absolutely in love. Well, it's quite a while later. I'm not going to lie to you. I <laughs> have met up with Charlotte now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is loud. 
<laughs> met up with Charlotte now, um, and we've just arrived. Hello. We've had some lunch. We're already look how cute her little mermaid hair looks. I love it. Do you want to give a little outfit o OTD? What we wearing? Oh. Cute. Nice. Cute. Skirt. Nice. Shoes. New shoes. We um, love the new shoes. Night dunks. Cute. And that's it. My love it. Hair. And she's also copied me and gone for a leather jacket. So we're about to head inside now, which I'm so excited about. Can you see there's like a, a little Pandora taxi over there? I kind of wish we got one of them. Um, but yes, we're gonna go ahead now, which should be so exciting. I'm really looking forward to Just it. Just arrived. We've got our little wristbands. What's your wristband? Cute. And they literally have everything. It's like it's the branded. Thing We've got pink face seen. masks. We've got Pandora hand sanitizer. I'm We've saving that. It's going straight in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> We've already tucked into the rosé. Got free drinks. It looks absolutely adorable. I feel like I need to flip the camera around. Look at how cute this looks. We've got a little skater. Look at duck. We've got some flower crowns over here and fortune tellers over there. I've never done a fortune telling. I don't know if I'm gonna give it a go or if it'll just freak me out in complete honesty. Um, but it's just absolutely adorable. It's so nice to be here. The sun has finally come out a little bit. We can enjoy the sunshine, enjoy being out. And actually being an in-person event and it was so nice to see the Pandora girls. We've already come up, said hello, which is just really, really lovely. So we're just gonna enjoy a nice glass of rosé and have a little bit of a wonder, have a bit of an explore. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gone Charlotte's having a bit of a fangirl moment because um, Alex Bowen is over there and I'm just gonna like there, there he is, there he is, standing with Olivia. Are you so mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, he is even more gorgeous in the flesh. He's beautiful. He has a beautiful human and Olivia is beautiful too. I feel like I feel like I'm more basic. Beautiful. He's beautiful. <laughs> Maybe I think I've one glass down and already. I've had a <laughs> It's magical when you are close, so get close to me What do you cook? Cause I am cold and I'm cold Get next to me, get next to me Get next to me, get next to me I love it. I got around my, it really around my hat. Not my outfit, but it looks cute. Look at it. Yeah, I decided to get it around my hat because it just looks so cute. I love it. Yeah, we can take a selfie. <laughs> They've got like seats set up. I just love this. This is the kind of festival I like. It's just like small, quiet, little bit of music, nice people. Like it's not too much. So this is so much fun. Right, we've come to the little rubber duck stall. We're gonna do a hook a duck. Charlotte's going first. I said I'll vlog her. Go on, Char, you can do it. I believe in you. Yes, girl. What's that got? 
It's got a heart. You want a neck? What should I go on? Go for like one further away. If <laughs> you can reach. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for one you can reach. Okay. Where's the hook? <laughs> oh, we've got music. You're being serenaded. Go on, one more. Okay, my turn. Ellie's turn, Ellie's turn. Right, go, go. No, it's a love heart. I want an X. I feel like you've got this. No. One more go, Ellie, come on. Come on, come on, you've got this. Come on. <laughs> and she's just got her hair done. How cute does this look? What's this? A little, what's it called? Like a, a hairband braid? I have no idea. It's so cute. Give us a little twirl. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I know. It came out such a perfect time, didn't it? Yeah. I have been really bad at vlogging. I'm not going to lie to you. And also, I am about three rosé salons. <laughs> Nice to it. So say hello to Katie and her sister. Hi. I'll link their um, Instagram, YouTube, and Instagram. Thank you. Down below, they're absolute babes. Love Katie to meet us. She's your. Oh, you only come met you with a lock and take It was, wasn't it? Like two years ago. That was probably my second half <laughs> event before COVID. Yeah. 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 It's so windy. It's so nice to be able to see people that you haven't seen in like years as well because of COVID. It's been so long. But um, yeah, so I thought I would just introduce them to the vlog, say hi. We've all got our flowers. Yes, we've got just went everywhere. And you had your hair done as well. Let me um, show you the vlog your hair. Oh, your henna as well. Yay! Mummy. <laughs> Mama! We've had too many wines, Rosie. You're gone. So, what's your name? I have, yeah, M, M's really upset with me because my bag is EM for Ellie Mae. But obviously, M deserves the bag. I feel like so she wants to take it home with her. She's influenced me and I'm going to buy the bag now. Hashtag take my influence. name on it. Hashtag influence. Okay. Straw basket company. I thought you were going to buy a lot of money. I know, you're cute. But the waiters keep coming over and keep giving us top ups. And we're all going, I mean, if you insist. And it's getting to a point where I need to cut myself off, I think. It's really, it's not, it's and not also, okay. The way to see it, very handsome. So we can't. <laughs> it's time to go. I'm so sad. Fear drums goodbye. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had a lot, a lot of rose. It's been really, really fun. Charlotte is gone. She's just gone. Um, so yeah, it's time to go, but it was so cute. Had the best time, um, but it was so fun. I've got my still, still got my flower crown on my hat. That's gonna be staying there for the rest of eternity. What? Oh, I'm sorry, okay, <laughs> bye. Charlotte's happy, she's got her goodie bag. Woo! <laughs> got my goodie bag, and it's time to head home. Is that the